allows you to, to monitor the um, outflow of information from your organization. In addition to this, products, there may also be other products involved, such as encryption and digital rights management. Uh, the emphasis here is, is on making sure that people who have access to information within your organization are, are using that information responsibly and they're not sending it to places or copying it to USB disks, etc., burning DVDs, um, to places where they shouldn't be. So when I start uh, a DLP project with, with one of my customers, generally what we try and do is, is focus on the, the most confidential data first. Okay, so, so what is the highest risk to this organization if they lose it? That's where we'll concentrate our efforts. Um, after that, uh, you know, once that, that particular type of data is under control, we can then start to introduce other types of policies to look for different types of data beyond the initial set. Um, and also we'll extend the scope of the deployment. So, so maybe if we're only starting with the network in phase one, then we may extend the DLP deployment to endpoint and storage in, in, in later phases. Um, the, the most important thing is, is to introduce the um, technology in a, in, a, in a controlled manner. So, so really what this means is that we want to do it in a way that causes minimal disruption to our, our customers. Um, so, so to do this, we would typically monitor for you know, maybe a three-month period where we're literally taking no action um, to, to prevent anything from happening. But, but during this process, we're able to identify you know, what kind of data are you losing, where is it going, and actually start to then remediate some of these business processes which are, are causing the data loss to happen. So once we've gone through that process of, of modifying the business process, tuning the policies, we would then look to switch on some kind of notification. So this is really informing users that you know the things that they're doing, their actions are, are essentially putting their company's data at risk. So again, this is where we'll see the, the largest drop in in risk as well because this is really changing the, the behavior of the end users. And so lastly, the final step we want to do is, is to actually switch on the, the prevent technology. Um, so, so once we've got the data, we've managed to naturally reduce the amount of incidents which are occurring on a, on a daily or a weekly basis. We're then in a position where we can switch on um, the, the prevention to actually stop those, those incidents from leaving their organization. Um, when, when you're looking to invest in DLP products, uh, there's a few things I'd recommend you, you pay attention to. Um, the first thing is that you have a, a single product which is, is capable of addressing your, your, your DLP related risks on the endpoint, storage, and the network. Um, the, the reason being is, is that uh, this greatly simplifies uh, things like configuration and reporting because you don't end up having to repeat the same steps on, on multiple products. You have a single product which is capable of, of producing policies and uh, reports generated from all three risk vectors. Uh, other things I would uh, recommend when you look at is how these DLP products integrate with other parts of your information risk management platform. So if you've already invested in things like digital rights management, encryption, um, event management, email archiving, but those types of products, um, how does that product integrate with, with, with other areas of your, your environment? Um, and, and lastly, I mean, one thing that customers often talk to me about is, is when we find information going out through channels like the network, the, the logical question for them to then say is, well, well, how did this information get through the network? So, so by, by doing that, by kind of taking a step back and then maybe analyzing things like your storage, we can then help you to analyze whereabouts does your confidential data exist in your organization. Uh, so is it inside SharePoint, is it inside databases, file servers, etc. But then look at um, who has access to this information. So, so if there are things like open farm shares, how do you remediate that by controlling the permissions on those farm shares? Um, and also, who has access to that information? So you know, if you have people in, in a particular department who should be accessing that information, that's great. They need to do that to do their job. But then what happens if you have other people maybe from different departments accessing that same information? That, that, that should raise some alarm in terms of why are those people accessing that information? So, so having a product which allows you to identify whereabouts in your organization does the confidential data currently exist, who has access to that information, who is accessing that information, will then help you um, determine the most effective remediation strategies for um, controlling that risk. Yeah. So, so the last point is, is really about the, the remediation strategies available because uh, it's, it's very easy just to focus on Detection. You know, finding information is, is a fairly straightforward task. I mean, there's, there's many ways that you can find confidential data. But 
what does the, the product offer in terms of remediation strategies? What kind of automation is there um, to enforce uh, compliance with, with your um, corporate security policies? Uh, what kind of workflow exists? What kind of reporting exists? Uh, all these things are really you know, about what happens after the data has been found. What do you do then to, to, to solve that problem? Okay, so firstly, I think uh, when you're deploying your DLP products, uh, you, you should be looking for the quick wins. Okay, so this is really how you can control your, your most confidential data first, um, and, and where do you start looking for that information. So look in the highest risk areas of your environment to, to control that information. Um, also, I recommend that you introduce this into your environment in a, in a very controlled manner, uh, so that it causes the minimal um, disruption to, to, your, to your business users. Um, the last thing we want to do is switch on prevent you know, on day one and then find that nobody's getting paid because we blocked salary getting sent to your outsourced payroll provider or, or something like that. So, so controlled mechanism is, is by far the preferred option. Um, also, when choosing the products, make, make sure you're looking for a single product, a single product that can uh, control you know, your endpoint, your storage, and your network DLP related risks. Um, and also that that product should be integrated with other parts of your information risk management platform. Okay. Once you've really made the decision that the DLP is something that you want to proceed with, um, I would recommend getting some expert advice, you know, somebody who has prior experience in doing this, uh, and they will be able to guide you through um, lots of the decision making process and how to you know, produce the right reports so that you can actually demonstrate continued risk reduction over time. Thank you.